Alright you guys, it's opening day and I got all my stuff here on the ground, set up, ready to go, and uh, I'm excited, but I have a love-hate relationship with opening day. I really do. I hate it because you're trying to work out all the kinks. I'm just hoping I'm not forgetting anything. Last year I forgot my bow pull-up rope, which I actually have that this year. New bow. I'm so excited about my new bow. It is the Matthews Prima, 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 I think it's Prima. Switching over from my diamond edge to this Matthews bow is, oh, the difference. It is worth the money. Put money into your bow because my groups are so tight. I've been destroying all of my arrows. I only have three left to actually hunt with. Um, I'm waiting for more to come in. I ordered more. I wish I had just invested in a really good bow from the get-go. Yeah, this thing freaking awesome. I love it. So I just got out of work, quickly showered. Public land I'm hunting is only 10 minutes away, so I'm trying to make it there by 4.30 so that I can be up in my tree by five so that I have a solid three hours to hunt this evening because last light is at 7.55. I'm excited, uh, really crossing my fingers I can pick a tree with my saddle. I'm totally winging it. Uh, although I remember thinking to myself during turkey season that there was plenty of trees to pick from. So let's hope I remember this correctly. Let's see if I can get it done. The wind is being really weird tonight, so I'm making sure I bring this with me because, you know, gotta check that. <laughs>
set up. As of right now in October, I am not going to shoot a doe unless I can get it on camera. And because I just had to film with my hand. Yeah, I could have gotten it on the GoPro, but I just, I want, I want the shot. Could have shot him. I had plenty of time. I just didn't have my camera set up yet. Um, you could clearly see in the GoPro video, I'm sure, that I'm holding my camera in my hand, but I couldn't get it on the camera arm. Um, and I didn't want to make any noise, so I decided I was just going to stand there and film them and get some footage for you guys. Um, yeah, it's October and I'm not going to shoot a doe unless I get it on camera because to me that's worth it. Um, uh, it is 9.45. I'm going to climb down out of my tree and I see a really good spot on the map that looks like a pinch point. And it's considering it rained last night and the ground is super quiet to walk and we're still getting some good wind, I'm going to do a little scouting and check it out. Well, I can see somebody's trail camera up here, which is a bummer because this area looks really promising. And that's probably why it's there. <laughs> Let me go check it out. So they've got the camera watching this trail. I mean, it's a good spot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and there is an old rub right there. I mean, it is a pretty good spot, but uh, we're going to keep going. Oh, look what I just came across. A dead head. Oh, there goes a deer. Dang it. Bedding. Note to self. Bedding. <laughs> Anyways. Wonder what happened to the little guy. Well, I can't say very often do I find dead heads that are bucks on public land. Cool. And now I'm excited. This was broken recently. Now I got it. Dang dear is hung up staring at me while I'm trying to scout. Go away. Go away, dear. And I think it's the one that I might have bumped out of its bedding. Go away. I'm trying to find your granddaddy. Go away. I'm gonna spook her. Ready? And go away. Are you serious? What if I stand up? Come on, go away. Come on, 
There you go. Go away. Without blowing. Thank you. Yo, go away. Like, seriously. see a 